Good morning and welcome to Contemplative Prayer, the beginning of a brand new month, the month of October, changing the leaves, the weather, the crisp air. Even though right now we are all feeling the effects of trying times, difficulties lay around every corner it seems. Just knowing that we can always find one thing to be grateful for and to offer that gratefulness up to God and thank Him every day, even for the smallest things. It really does help to put us in a bit more of a settled and centered space, just reminding ourselves that there may always be something to be grateful for. Today we've been gifted with a lovely piece of music for the time that we spend in silence. That'll be around 10 minutes long. And to begin today, I'd like to offer a prayer in the form of a writing by Joyce Rupp from her book, Out of the Ordinary. It's called A Prayer for Awareness. Generous God, you smile upon the wide diversity and beauty in the humanity whom you have created. But you weep at the great divide between the rich and the poor. I come today with the taste of ego-centeredness on my spiritual breath. I beg to have greater awareness and a deeper commitment to all that will heal my world. Help me to make good decisions about my daily living so that who I am and what I do can have a positive effect on my brothers and my sisters everywhere on this vast planet. Stretch my vision so that I do not forget those who hunger and search for shelter each day. Remind me when I am using and buying material things that I do so with care. Enable me to use the earth's resources responsibly so that there will be enough to go around for all who live on this green planet today and in the future. Awaken me each day to gratitude for all that I so easily take for granted. Let my eyes do more than just read the stories in the daily paper or watch them on the evening news. Let my eyes take those stories to my heart where I am one with all who dwell on this earth. Touch my compassion so that I know the pain of the hungry, the violated, the homeless, the burdened, and to all those who yearn for some of my riches. Compassionate creator, stir in my soul. Call me again and again to be a true child of the universe. May I be attentive and alert to how you would have me live my abundant life. Grant me the generosity to always share this with others. The psalm today is Psalm 19. The spacious heavens laud the glory of our God. With full majestic praise, the soaring firmament, unmeasured in extent, his handiwork displays. Days pour forth speech today, night will to night convey the knowledge of creation. There is no speech nor word their voices are not heard, yet they reach every nation. In this wide firmament, 
God gave the sun a tent from which to start its run. Just as a joyful groom emerges from his room, so comes the radiant sun. And as a man of force rejoicing runs his course, so from the end of heaven the sun its path completes, and from its burning heat can nothing remain hidden. The law of God is whole, and it revives the soul by bidding it to rise. His testimony sure forever shall endure. It makes the simple wise. The precepts of the Lord, which are his perfect word, with joy our hearts do brighten. While his commandments sure, which are both true and pure, the eyes of man enlighten. The fear of God is clean, a fountain most serene. It will forever be. His ordinances, too, are righteous and are true. For everyone to see, to be desired far more than gold, much fine gold, or what can be bought for money. They are far sweeter than whatever sweetness man receives from the combs with honey. Moreover, they forewarn thy servant that he scorn all evil ways, O Lord. He who with faith in thee keeps them obediently will reap a great reward. But Lord, who is the man who with precision can discern his every error? To thee I humbly pray. Forgive and clear away my hidden faults forever. Keep thou me all my days. O Lord, from evil ways, wilt thou their sway prevent? Then blameless I shall be. From great transgressions free, before thee innocent that every word I say and all my heart's thoughts may be proof of pure demeanor. All this thy servant prays of thee who scant his ways, my rock and my redeemer.
Thank you.
like to thank Galena for that gift. That music was composed by my friend Galena and her colorful energy was, was specifically written for our Thursday afternoons, Thursday morning prayer time. You know, shall we pray? Great creator, thank you for stilling our hearts today and quieting our minds. Please continue, Lord, to strengthen our lives and inspire our spirits so that we can inspire others along our path. God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we offer gratitude for this love revealed to us. May it take root and grow things of beauty. And as we part, may we be reminded that we are never alone. And may we live our lives fully aware of your ever-present love. Amen.